Bell and Sukni and some yep. of the great players, Tom yep. Tenders. Yep. And I'll be honest with you, uh, when you came down the old fields also, uh, then later on at the Civic Center, it was absolutely marvelous to see 15. That's from Los Angeles, played at, a, played at a high level in high school and a very solid player. Shot clock winding down again for the Huskies. Samuel drives, flips it up, English off the window. Rose in only two thirds of the season. That's a guy that gets to the line a lot and is not afraid to get into the lane off the dribble. He's done a great job with that tonight. Let's see, on the other hand, UConn has had really li limited ability to get to the paint off the dribble. Purvis hands it off to Calhoun. Down low to Samuel. Attacks and scores. I've seen it so many times. I know you were talking to Danny D last night. And maybe every kid from Indiana gets up for every single game. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I know how much they love their hoop. But the reality is sometimes not getting into tournament, it's a crusher. It really is. And it, it takes, uh, you know, some motivation to get yourself ready. I've seen it so many times. San Diego State got to New York. Hitting with the left hand. Rebound to Boatwright. Samuel flying and missed the shot. Purvis with the miss. Samuel with a tip. Bond, six to shoot. Moving in on Prima. Rolled it over the rim. Prima altered that shot even though he didn't block it. Nice pass by Hamilton. He gets a screen from Goodman. Tough interior pass. Samuel. Went to the left hand and made the shot. Nice move by the whip to the rim. Misses. Kicks out. Wisden for three. And now here comes Samuel. Gilmet had to be careful and let him go. Trouble for the Huskies here. Under nine minutes to go in the first half. Samuel, airborne, scoops it, beautifully done. Well, he's making progress. Confident in getting the ball into the gaps against the pressure. Both right, misfires. Strong rebound. Samuel with the bus. Right out of block again by Brimer, right at the rim. Samuel the other way. A little hectic. Shoot that. Takes it in, lost the handle, turnover again. Samuel the other way. And the Huskies back in front. Robinson penetrates, hangs, too strong off the window. And a rebound to Hamilton, the freshman, who pushes it up the floor. Trying to find holes in this zone for ECU. Six right now. White took a good look. Rattled in and out. And right through the defense. That's two more. Samuel, nice. And scores. Tyson, drive and kick. They get the open look. And Tejada is too strong off that guy. Four on three. Samuel right to the bottom. Bodright finds a trailing Omar Calhoun. Lubin, second chance for the Huskies. Huskies are getting some good open looks, Carter. Just can't knock it in. Samuel attacks. Finishes in the paint. Much needed. Gibson has led the entire game. Is three from Knowles. Purvis has the ball. Time and score. Not a good shot by Knowles. Nobody wants to shoot the boat right. Other well, guys got to have the courage to attack. <clears throat> Double team to get it out of the hands of Boat right, who is looking tired. Timeout next dead ball. Samuel at the elbow. Long two goes down. 
dangerous pass picked by Samuel. That's just dangerous, but really. It's another three. Up when the ball is in the air, being thrown to a three-point shooter, you've got to get to him. Downs and some fouls and help out inside. And we see a 2-3 zone by USF. They're doing that because the Huskies are usually not a good three-point shooting team, Rich, even though, as you mentioned, lately they've been doing much better from downtown. Terrence Samuel into the game for Boatwright. And then you have the foul on the box out underneath. Yeah, check uh, right away from the ball, so an extra possession here for Connecticut. And top the basket, back within six. Eight minutes gone by. Purvis, good luck, and an easy two for Terrence. Tulsa falling down, hits the three. Unable to run to give the Golden Hurricane their largest lead of the night. Question is now, where are the Huskies going to get their points? I go to Calhoun. He can score. Samuel's more of a defensive player and a setup guy. Samuel attacks and draws a foul on Rashad Ray. Stanford, California. Ray, knuckleball. It's not his strength. His strength is driving the basketball and sharing the ball, setting up his teammates. Going inside, Husky. You're not making the open three. Macy finds Samuel through the contact, finishes, play on. Right. Do not ever. Put your hands on it. Defend <laughs> with your feet. Exactly. You're going to protect him. He deserves it. He's a great player. But right now, he's had to do so much. Oh, he's got to score so much. He's got to get some help. Ryan can score and Hamilton can score. He's a freshman. Samuel, mid range step back. Nice, nice shot. shot. Playing well. It's Kick out Hamilton three. Loose ball, won by Hamilton, right to the rim. Third chance for the Huskies. Samuel, blocking foul underneath, called on right. So they ultimately have to brush you with the body, and they certainly can't get their arms extended to block the shot without creating contact. Collins, one out of two from the line. Nice. Ooh. Beautiful drive, Terrence Samuel switches. On a platter. They both both clubs have had good looks. Eli Carter, a mid first grade. Here's a question mark as to whether or not he would play here today. To the hoop, nicely done by Terry for Calhoun. It's a little too far for him. Lima turns short. Rebound kept alive. UConn's got it. And it opened up for Samuel. Samuel doesn't take it. Now he drives in. Oh, sneaky play by Terrence Samuel. Second half and off the court and on the floor. Very distressing for the Huskies. This is a team that's already battled some injuries. A guy with the ball, Purvis, has had his confidence shaken early in the year. He's played well of late, but he missed some games with a high ankle sprain. Samuel has bonded the line, and this is usually an adventure. Only 28%. So a break for the Huskies. Samuel with a high dribble airborne. Lace it in, but he went down. Again, clearly missing Malcolm McMillan as their point guard. And, of course, Daniel Vignal is the all-NEC performer who's, not, who's left the program. So they're trying to find some answers offensively. Terrence Samuel has checked into the game now for Connecticut, coming off a really rock-solid game. Kevin Alley told us he loved the four assists he had against Columbia, and right to the bucket, Terrence even go. Nato Low now has five points, and Columbia has taken the lead. They have hit their last four shots to take the lead here at Webster Bank Arena. We're in downtown Bridgeport, Connecticut. Terrence Samuel pulling up 15-footer, and Terrence Samuel. So we'll see how long they stay in it, but they're going to let Connecticut shoot from the outside and see how they attack. Yale did, Yale did the same thing in the last 10 minutes of their game, and Connecticut really slowed down. Oh, Terrence Samuel breaking up. Oh, and the confidence his teammates have in delivering it to him. 
Lima just one of seven from the floor in that loss to Texas. Samuel, quick step along the baseline, but quickly cut off and then dipping under. That's a great move right there. The prime out of the game to let him go. Here's the pick and roll. Williams taken away. Up ahead, Samuel. And one. Team three turnovers per game. There you go. Good drive and kick. Sell for three. Samuel picks up the trash and puts it in. That's from the perimeter is what's gotten him in his hole. Three for 16 from three-point range. Only nine for 18 from the free throw line as well. As we see Samuel finish. Virginia Mountaineers. Holton with the exclamation point. Samuel at the other end. Leading at this point down five is clutch for the Cougars. Pressure. Barry just falls down after contacting Purvis. So important for Charleston to stay within two possessions in this last two minutes. It gives him a chance to get a score and then force a turnover and another one and tie it. Samuel. Nolan's cutting. Samuel goes all the way to the cut. Third foul on Philip Nolan. So. Connecticut fortunate right there as the Huskies up by two. 14 minutes and 15 seconds to go. Opening half here at Campo Pavilion. Samuel attacking the rim and getting the soft roll. League opponents over the year 77 and 4 against non league competition here at Campo Pavilion since it opened 26 years ago. Samuel on for Bryant. He hit the ball. The side of the board on his first three, but he's not afraid either. He's a polished freshman. He's played over in New Zealand against men for years. So another great start for Brian here, continuing what they did at the end of the half. It's Hamilton and Samuel. Go right, Brian.